we've all heard the statement, you are what you eat, and that is more true now than ever. <laughs> when our brain evolved, food was scarce, you know, and your brain's primary role was securing enough energy to create homeostasis in the body, right, to make sure you're getting enough nutrients to survive. Now, it is said by some that with the invention of fire, we really took a huge step in the advancement of humanity because all of a sudden we could cook our foods. And what happens is we could extract exponentially more nutrients and energy from the food once we cooked it. Flash forward to today where food is ubiquitous, yet we're still running that old software, that old brain biological software that just wants to get energy and wants to create homeostasis. And so we just have now living in a society in which we're overeating, right? 70% of Americans are overweight. It's just too available. And our brain is just overwhelmed. And these, these sugar addictions and these weaknesses that we have for certain chemicals are exploited by marketers. There's so many signals competing for our attention. It's not just Twitter and Facebook. It's also cereal, right? It's sugar and coffee and cake and microwavable burritos. I mean, it's all competing for your attention. How we respond to that is going to determine the future health of, of humans in many ways. <laughs>